Hey guys, it's Ernie Halter, and welcome to the first ever edition of Behind the Song with Ernie Halter. It's a title that I just, just came up with off the top of my head. Um, I wanted to share with you a song that is on the new record, Catbird Soul, if you haven't. I'm sure most of you, especially patron supporters, have probably heard of this, but um, if you haven't heard, I've got a new record called Catbird Soul, and there is a song called Make Plans off that record that I wrote with my friend Jeffrey Goldford. And I thought it'd be fun to just, you know, explain how he wrote it and sort of the, uh, the inspiration behind it. Um, Jeffrey and I were thinking about songs like, you know, well, Leon Bridges' record had come out around that time and I loved the old school vibe to it. And so we started thinking even further back and I love Ray Charles, and I thought it'd be really fun to write a song that would be in that vein of, especially a song called You Don't Know Me, and it goes, um, uh, You give your hand to me, and then you say hello, and I can hardly speak, my heart is beating so, and anyone can tell, you think you know me well, but you don't know me. So, that's, um, you know, honestly thinking about Make Plans and You Don't Know Me, I feel like I maybe should have tried a little harder to hide the reference, but it's kind of late for that now, I suppose. So the first part of Make Plans, um, by the way, sorry, a, a se segue is that people often ask, what comes first, the music or the lyrics? And in this case, I feel like once we had this musical direction, the lyrics and the melody kind of came together um, with emphasis on these old songs where there's very few words yet they really make the most of it like you send me you know darling you send me i know you send me baby you send me honest you do there's so few notes and syllables and they just really make it work. Um, so also with this song, the idea was to pare it down, make it really simple. Um, so once we had the musical direction, the lyrics and the melody kind of came together um, at the same time. And there's a story, you know, often we'll think of a backstory. So in some cases, songs are purely 100% autobiographical. And in some cases, it's more of a feeling that you're trying to evoke. Not to say that I haven't felt this way in my life, but the story is a guy that is a loner and doesn't really feel like he's ever going to find someone. And he's not really looking for anyone. And then he finds someone, and then um, and they settle down and have twins and live in Nashville. No, um, that would be autobiographical. Um, but it's a story of someone who's kind of a loner and doesn't feel like, you know, they, they're living for the present only and then they meet someone and for the first time they're thinking about the future and wanting to make plans and so that's what this song is about and um, so the, once you have the story the and you know you have a title then everything is kind of pointing lyrically toward this title and this type of song is called a verse refrain song where you have a verse a bunch of words and then at the very end of that little section of words is the title, the idea. So Make Plans is the title, and the verse, the first verse goes, Call me a drifter, a rolling stone. I never long for someone at home. Oh, but then I met you. Now all I can do is want to make plans so something also that I find kind of fun in a lyric is when if you know the title is make plans and that's where you're ending up it's kind of fun to think of what the opposite of that is and make the lead up you know if the title was um, I don't know. I can't think on the spot. Song rating is hard. Um, but if the titles make plans, because that's what we're talking about, the opposite of making plans is being a loner, just sort of living day to day, um, and shows the contrast between then and now. So now is 
guy wants to make plans. So you think about what happened before that and you kind of write the song from the perspective of the way it was and the contrast. Contrast is always fun. Um, so anyways, then the second verse goes into the continuation of that story. So the same melody, the same amount of syllables and words, the same chords, everything is very similar except the story is now continuing on and it goes... Um, what are you doing Friday night? I'll come running whenever you like. Oh, but since I met you, all I can do is want to make plans. Then it goes to a B section. So if those first sections were called A sections, when you have a little bit of words and then the title, a B section is just something different. It's musically, it gives it contrast. So different chords, different melody. Um, and uh, so I went with, um, what was it? Wanna make plans, I wanna make plans to get to know I just want to make plans. Also, the verse is really a 12 bar blues, you know, like. It's like a very familiar form. Anyways, that's like the adaptation of, of a 12 bar blues that you hear in a lot of early songs because a lot of those songs were you know, originating from blues. Anyways, so two A's, a B section, then I do this thing where I do a spoken verse. Normally, um, well, I guess it was normal at a certain time period. If you listen to country songs from the 40s and 50s, you'll often hear a section where the artist is speaking a verse, or like a poem, over just, you know, the instrumental. And I thought that was kind of cool. I thought it'd be kind of funny to do that. Um, if you listen to Elvis Presley's Are You Lonesome Tonight, he does that, where it's like, you said you loved me, but you lied. You said you would never leave, but you betrayed my trust, something like that, whatever he says. It's that kind of thing, but if you listen to Are You Lonesome Tonight, you'll get a feeling for what we were going for. And so uh, that's what we did. It's like, um, darling, there comes a time in a man's life when that man is tired of playing around and ready to settle down and make some plans. And I think you know what I'm talking about, darling. And of course, there's a lot of reverb there, you know. I'm talking about making plans with someone special. Show, show, show. That someone special is you. So anyways, that's what that's from. And then we go to another B section. It's rare to have two B sections in a song, but whatever. That B section goes like this. Call me crazy, crazy for your love, but I know that one night, one night could never, oh, ever be enough. Ooh, what are you doing? And this is another A section. Saturday night, oh, Sunday morning. Rest of your life. Oh, but since I met you, all I can do is want to make plans. And then we tag it, you know, just tag is like a few lines of repeated, you know, of a repeated section at the end. Oh, since I met you, all I can do. So that's it. That's the story behind the song Make Plans. 
off the new record, Catbird Soul. I hope you check it out if you haven't already. Um, I want to just say thank you to my Patreon supporters. They're the ones who made this video possible. If you want to find out more about Patreon, you can go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Ernie Halter and find out more about being a part of this awesome little community we've got and help me make videos like this. You guys are great. Um, I hope you like this. If you do, um, let me know and, uh, and I'll make more of these. Um, I hope you're having a great Sunday. Bye.